So this is what I ended up with. Um, yeah, it doesn't look anything like a rate wrap or a pressure or anything. But once I built the pressure too, I realized how amazingly limited the X, Y, and Z axes were and how little I could do to modify them. So I was a little disappointed. So I actually printed some new parts and went ahead and built my own custom model. Actually, all I printed was this, two of these, the motor mounts, and um, then I just put this together and all the other white parts you see, I printed with this. Uh, you could take a look, the print quality is actually pretty good. It's all printed from ABS. Um, this is not limited at all. You can actually scale it. You can see all the all the hardware parts are from the reprap, and I kind of just adapted them to hold it hold it together. It's totally solid, totally flat, no rock at all, and it's calibrated really well. You can see it goes all the way, and you can continue going. I put the stop actually here so it goes underneath the table. Really nice. And it goes, again, you can scale this. So it goes all the way across. You get the full 200 by 200. And you. this is about, I don't know, like 7 or 8 inches high. So maybe like 170, 200. But you're not limited. You can you know make your own X carriage, as I did. I, this is totally designed by me. The X carriage and works great, works really, really well. I am not really a pro at printing with ABS yet, but this is really nice. Some improvements that I've made over the original design. The motor had like a little carabiner, um, like a bearing, so that it would kind of tension it a bit or kind of offset it so that it was parallel. With this design, I was able to move the motor up and actually have a direct belt, very much like the x-axis up here just straight one bearing in the motor so there's no worry about a like an idler or any kind of tension problem it works really well um, the sanguine Olulu is mounted here with the mounting plate that I printed all the wires are you know tucked away as best as I could I didn't want to cut any of the wiring I do like to keep all my wires clean and full length underneath you can see kind of edited the plate mount. I lifted it up so that I could place the motor higher up and give that straight belt rather than having a, 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 a configuration that kind of offsets it so that it's perpendicular with the plate. And um, yeah, there's the mounts. So this is actually for sale. Unfortunately, I'm moving to Pennsylvania this is not by my choice, and I just simply cannot take it with me. Um, I've printed about one pound of, of ABS with it, maybe a, a few feet of PLA with it. I really like the PLA. Actually, this green piece you hear was printed with PLA, and it's super accurate. It's super, super accurate. Really nice. Um, all the bolts are from McMaster Car. They're all 12.2 strength alloy, which is really, really strong. Wiring, high temperature wiring, uh, 16 gauge for the hot plate, and works really well. Um, that's a little, turns out my tweezers fit here perfectly. <laughs>